what's up it is v from v love and crystals today i am doing a pick a card reading brought to you by my father figure who thought of this topic the question is what lesson are you forgetting that's interesting so we're going to try to figure this out for everyone watching so before you we have the edgar allen tarot the newest version i mean the newest addition to our tarot family we have the haunted house a tarot of the haunted house and the dark mansion tarot so which pile you know, I would suggest you watching the full pile so you can see all these beautiful cards come to life. Or if you don't have time, I do have the piles waiting for you stamped below as well as all the decks here. So I'm so excited and I'm going to be pairing everything with my Autumn's Delight Oracle for clarification. And yeah, let's get to this. So p which pile will you choose? Let me know which pile you chose. And thank you, my father figure, for this awesome topic. If you would like to vote with us or if you would like to give us some suggestions for pick a card readings, I will be taking them over on Patreon. Join us over there or the join memberships down below. Same thing. All right, let's go. Ready? Pile number one, you're first. Pile number one, I am so ready for you. I had to marinate with my cards. And then I realized that the Leo was sitting by my foot from my live stream. I forgot to pick this up. And it was like, it was getting dark. So I didn't even see it right next to my desk on the floor. So look, the lion is here twice. So pile number one, what you're forgetting is your strength, your courage, your brave, your energy, like that, that go-getter energy, that pouncing energy. You're forgetting that you have it inside of you. Um, you got distracted along the way. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Crossroads Knight of Wands. So you're forgetting the power that you have with inside of you. You're forgetting that you have what it takes. That you need to believe in yourself more. You have a higher purpose, a higher uh, uh, a goal, an uh, end goal, and you got a little bit of you got distracted along the way. It's like your lesson. You're on this path, but something is keeping you back, or you're just forgetting, or you're sidetracked, you're scattered. You have all these leaves all over the all over the ground, and you're like, I don't know what direction to take. Left, right, straight, backwards, what? So this is saying, get your. See, we have a lot of fire here. Strength. We have the Leo here. We have the the wands in her hand. We have the wands in his hand, and then you have the witch's broomstick. So flying. You got two witchy feet here or shoes here. So you have a lot of strength, a lot of fire, a lot of uh, resources at your fingertips, a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, yeah, weapons or not weapons, but more like tools, tools like the magician. But you're not, you're not doing anything with them. So you have to get into your Knight of Wands energy, and you need to go that Queen of Wands energy. Take, take, take it on. Take, take, <laughs> take it on. No, take, take your life in another direction. You need to go. Uh, gravitate toward one path only go all in and it's saying don't think about it don't step on your own toes just go for it i feel that you have got i mean maybe you like you your brain was somewhere else like you know oh a butterfly ah and then you got sidetracked you got distracted yeah so this is saying go back on track get back on track stay on course and this this still more lessons for you to learn more more um more road to travel, more golden nuggets to pick up on your journey. So stay focused. That's what this is saying. Stay focused. And caution. Watch out for the trolls, the naysayers, the negative people, the energy vampires. Just watch out for a little, you know, like those monk those flying monkeys along your, your quest. Just like in the Wizard of Oz. Watch out for those flying monkeys, you know. Watch out for the tornado. Try not to fly into the tornado, the eye of the storm. Make sure you see she's flying. She Look, she's ready. No, she's going to fly. She's ready to fly. So make sure you don't fly into uh, uh, crazy territory, okay? Unknown territory. Make sure you have a plan. Make sure you know what you're doing. And be alert. Don't be oblivious to your surroundings, okay? Be, look, caution. So just watch out for those negative people. Things will be unclear. And so you, you'll need to trust your intuition. So where you're going... You, it, you you don't know what you're doing yet, right? Just you, you're still learning as you go. So that's what I'm saying. Like you're you still have lessons to learn. So things are a little bit under wraps. So that's that's for you to discover. That's for you to un unwrap. And look, trust your intuition. If you can't see through the, in the crazy, you can't see through the frog the the frog. No, the fog. Trust your intuition. Your intuition will guide you and guide your broomstick up in the air. So this is saying you have lost yourself a little bit. 
that you're lear- you're trying to um you're you're like on the road to your road to something bigger but you know you 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 have a little bit of a curveball strap on your witchy boots and your and your witch's broomstick and and get through the fog cut through it and see what the universe has to offer you have trust your intuition this is amazing this is saying this is something even higher than you it's like your higher self trying to come through and help you teach or help you learn these lessons and you're asking what important important lesson am i forgetting right now if it's staying on track it's saying that you're forgetting your strength. You're forgetting your power, your courage. Maybe you're, f- you're lacking confidence. Don't forget you have it because you have all this stuff to unfold, all this stuff to explore in front of you, okay? There's something that's bigger waiting for you, something that you have to dive into with your feet. You have to dig your feet into something, but I can't tell you what it is because then you won't put in the work. All right, my friend? So grab your, your lion energy and start start uh, start start trekking start start hiking start start running uh the energy is flamboyant dramatic proud and passionate it focuses focuses on the importance of self-belief and that's what i was saying you're forgetting that you have your strength you learned your lesson you already know this it's just that you're forgetting you're distracted that's what i have for you pound number one and now we're on to pound number two please let me know if this resonates leave a little lion emoji if you listened to the whole liony message here liony message thank you for being here and yeah good good we're gonna move on to the next pile all right pile number two let's see what we have for you all right friends in the first position we have the six of wands what lesson are you forgetting i think you're forgetting that you're here for a reason you're here to lead others you're here to help others you're here to assist others you're here to guide others and i think that you're you're not you're not doing what your job is here, what you're here to do on the spiritual plane. You're not here doing what you're supposed to do. You're, I think you're sidetracked. You're doing other things. You have habits, other habits, other things that are distracting you, uh, taking you away from your, your main goal. So the lesson is, your lesson that you're forgetting is that you need to keep on going forward. You need to keep on helping people. You need to... Um, know that you're, or, or this is saying that you need to believe in the abilities that you have to help people, that you are, you are a value. I think you, you don't realize you're valued. And number one, we would talk about, you don't believe it, you're, you're forgetting the strength you have. Number two, you don't, you're not realizing the value you have that you give to others that you help people with. We have habits here. So it can be a, a, a bad habit you need to break. Of you not believing in yourself, you not realizing that you have what it takes, you have the strength, you have your resources, your insight, and your lesson is for you to get back on the horse and keep on going, keep on leading your people, keep on helping as much as you can. This is saying no time for fun and games, it's time to work. Your spirit is saying, I got something to do. But you're not not letting me do it. Maybe you're drinking coffee too much, sitting with your 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 phone in your hands too much. Who knows? I'm just giving you an example. Um, So get back on horse. Get back on track. You have a lot of work to do. You have people waiting for you to rise to vacation. They want you to show up. That's the lesson that you're forgetting. That you're being needed right now. The next one is the obstacle that's getting in your way. The dev card. So maybe something is holding you down maybe you're feeling like you can't move maybe you're feeling conflicted or uh entrapped you know like you're feeling like you you have a heavy burden maybe these are the energy the negative energy vampires who drain your energy and so you have to find a healthy bounce um, bounce a boundary wow i meant to say balance and then i said bounce boundary and balance you gotta set a healthy line for you going forward in this line of work you have the key to, you know, relieving yourself from things that drain you, that are toxic. So we have purity, and then we have mischief. Wow, look at that. See? Mischief and purity. You have it in you to find the common middle ground, the balance, that the scales. The key to, to restoring balance in your in your work your line of work so we have the dark side we have the light side isn't that crazy 
purity and mischief. This is my Autumn's Delight Oracle, by the way, if you're interested, the link is down below in my Oracle shop. This is a Tower of the Haunted House. So it's saying the obstacles right now is that you need to find a balance. And once you get that balance, once you restore it, restore harmony, equilibrium, you will get to c fulfill your goals. Maybe that's why you're distracted. You're like such in a dark funk. Maybe you're not giving yourself a break. Maybe you're not relaxing yourself. Maybe you're doing too much. Maybe you're helping too many people. Or maybe you're, um, you were in the past because you're, you're not doing your work, right? You're taking a breather. You're just doing your, your, you're getting into your hobbies, your vices, you're overindulging in your favorite guilty pleasures. But in the past, you had all these things in your way. And so now it's saying time to get back on the horse, time to find that even balance, that even ground. And then you can keep working forward without anything stopping you or getting in your way. Or if it's in your mindset. If you feel trapped, it's all in the mind. You can free yourself. The next one is the higher front. So this is the guidance. So the guidance is for you to tap more into your your faith, your 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 practice, your if you're religious, start pray praying again. If you're into tarot, keep doing your tarot. If you're into meditation, go back into doing that. You know, it's saying to get back into the what you were doing before, tradition. What was the ritual? See preparation. Get back into your ritual. Get back into your practice. Get back into that energy. Have that groove again. Every day, the repetitive thing. Working with your yourself, your higher self, every day, every day, every day. I'm getting like habits. I'm getting patterns. Yeah, habits. Oh, it's here already. So um, I think you, if you were to um, keep your energy clean, and you see how he has this cross here. So work with your Palo Santo, your sage, and your essential oils, and your crystals. Keep your energy clean. Keep a nice little balance for you. You can get back on track. Maybe you are around um, a lot of darkness and it pulled you down. Maybe you you just couldn't get out of it. And now you had a little bit of a setback. So now you got to rise above it. Seek the light again. Rise above. Get in that horse. Keep going. And your people are going to follow you. Look at that. Be a beacon of light. See? Your people are going to follow you. You're going to have a support system, Okay. She's on a horse with her torch. The liberty here is here to guide you. So you're the liberty and everybody else is here to follow you on your path. So you have to show up. People are waiting and are, are um, expecting you to rise to the occasion. They want to follow you. They want to succeed with you. They want you to go far and they want to see you get there. And they want to go there too. They want to be, they want to rise like a phoenix. They, they're in the darkness too. They want to come to the light. So that's what I have for you. They want to see purity. They want to see innocence again in their eyes. Maybe they're in a dark funk. They need cleansing and they need you to help them do that. All right. So we have the preparation. Get all your tools. You have everything at your disposal. Maybe that's your, your devices, whatever you have. Take them with you and go forward. Okay. Right, now we're on to the next pile. Thank you for being here. All right. And the last pile. What's up, last pile? Pile number three. Let's figure out what is happening for you as far as your lessons that you're forgetting. All right, friends, we have quite a few things here for you. We have the first position is what is your lesson that you're forgetting? And we have the seven of pentacles. And it has to do because of a female in your life. <laughs> All right, so... Um, your lesson right now, I think, has to do with you, you're free, I don't know, like, you're, you're I don't think you're, you're, um, setting, you're not taking time to look at all your hard work. You're not taking time to, uh, revel in all the fruits that you have planted for yourself, all the seeds. I think you're going, 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 creating, 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 like the feminine energy is all about right the empress you're creating you're creating creating but you're not looking at all the milestones all the steps that you have taken you're in the moment you're like moving 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 doing 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 energize the bunny syndrome but then you're not saying hey let me go and take a look at all the work that i've done for myself let me admire the beauty let me just chill and not do anything let me look at all my beautiful rewards and all the things that I've learned, 
or the people that I've met. I think that is your lesson, is that you're, you're not really enjoying your destination, your journey. You're just waiting to get to that end goal, but you're not enjoying the whole process to get there. So that's what I'm getting for this. Creating, creating, creating. And then you, by the time you look at everything that you've done, you're like 90. You know, so take a step back and be in the moment. That's your lesson right now. There's no rush. Slow and steady, right? See, don't be old like him, finally looking at your results. Be young, be in the moment. The obstacle that's stopping you from learning your lesson is the world. Oh my gosh, I know, I know what this is, I know what this is saying. Um, I know what this is saying. This is saying, wow, we have two shoes, two pairs of shoes here. Wow, and we even got adventure clarifying the travel, the world card. Okay, so your obstacle is that you're trying to help everybody. You're trying to do everything. You're trying to take on so much and you're biting more than you can chew. But you have to realize that you can't help every single person. You can't do every single thing. You can't travel to every single country and city and town and state and whatever jurisdiction <laughs> you have to do what you can with the resources that you have the time that you have you know one at a time you can't do it all i know what this is saying this is kind of like wow this is like saying you're like the the mother hen you want to help everybody you're like this big empath this empress you just want to open your arms to every single person and you're forgetting that you have to also you know enjoy the moment don't just wait you're like you're doing so much that you i don't know what you're waiting you're waiting to go the golden you're waiting to, to lay a golden egg or something i don't know it's saying the golden egg is the whole journey you're taking to get to the to the end of the rainbow. Enjoy that stretch of a of your time, you know. Adventure, awesome. Look at that. Lessons is here. We're talking about lessons, and it says lessons right here. So you're you're wanting to do so much. You want to travel spiritually and touch everybody's lives, but you can't do that because you're just one person. So it's saying, relax, you're, you're going to help people in your time. And you might do it, yeah, you're going to do it globally, but you're going to do it maybe from your videos or writing a book or something like that. You're going to touch many lives and you're not going to have to travel to do so. <laughs> you can do it online and reach so many people that way. So relax, relax. It's going to happen for you. Then we have things will heat up. And things are, this is saying... Things are just going to get more hectic, more intense. So that's why you have to chill a little bit. Just be still. Ground yourself. Stop trying to do so much with your time, my friend, okay? You only have a little bit of time in the day to do what you can. And you also have to take in the fact that you have a family. You have other things to tend to. So things will heat up. It's just going to get more intense. So chill, relax. Take it step by step, step by step, step by step. Ooh, and enjoy the moment on this quest. All right, thank you for watching. I'm V, and I'll see you tomorrow for another pick a card. Let me know if you like these cards. This is my fortune cookie oracle, my autumn's delight that I created with my husband. Both of these, and this is the dark mansion and ha tower of the haunted house. And then we have what? What's the other one? The Edgar Allan Poe tarot. So all these I use today.